Okay, I just want to show you something. I just want to show you something really quick. Um, I've got SketchUp, an old version. It's uh, version 8. Um, it's a very cool thing. I'm just putting some um, cooling pipes, modeling some cooling pipes uh, on this. Uh, these are the internal components for a, um, a Peltier uh, cooler, cooling device. Uh, it's a project which we give the high school students and also the undergraduate engineering students where they've got to design a case. So this represents the can of Coke. This is the cooling fan uh, with the piping for the the, um, the gas that's fused part of the coolant. This is the Peltier unit in here. This is an aluminium block which is milled to wrap around the Coke can and interface with the Peltier unit. And these, these long arms here are basically to remind the student to place holes in their case so they can place 25 millimeter uh, screws into the side just to fix the position of the aluminium block and the cooling device uh, because the Peltier unit must be sandwiched tightly between these two. Otherwise, if it's not, it will overheat and self destruct. Um, but what I wanted to show you was uh, this little thing here where I'm just putting in these cooling fans. Now, I'll show you what it looks like. This is the piece that I'm modeling. Now they are curved at the end, so I tried doing curved sections, but it, the, um, it failed a little bit on the inside. So I'm just doing square corners now, and it works pretty well. So here we go, here's the extension parts here, and I've just already drawn out a little guideline. So I've drawn a line here for it to follow. Now watch this. First thing I go is get the pointer, and I select that line, and I press the shift button down, and I select the next line. You see a little positive and negative sign beside the pointer arrow? And there. So now we've highlighted the path that I want this uh, surface to follow. Now watch this. I select this function here called follow me. And then I choose the surface. And of course it doesn't work. <laughs> well, it did work just for these ones. So I'll just try that one more time and hopefully we'll be all right now. Um, I had to split up the surface in two parts. I'll just delete that out first. And do that one more time. I think that surface is reversed and that's why it's not happy. That's another thing is if you see a light silver color, uh, it could mean that the surface is facing out, which it needs to be in a model. Or as if it's dark facing, it could be that the surface is inverted. And I'll, I'll demonstrate that a little bit later on. So follow me. And there you go. So that's pretty good. Now there are some gaps there which uh, Microsoft's uh, model repair service can fix or you can do something simple. Sometimes you just find that if you put a little line uh, in here, sometimes that gets you out of trouble and sometimes it doesn't. So I'll just demonstrate that uh, reverse facing thing. If you click on the surface and go reverse faces, see how it's dark like that? So that thing, the computer thinks that that surface is facing inwards, which is no good for modeling. What you want is all, all visible surfaces should be facing outwards. So see how it's like a lighter gray color now? So that's a quick way to check. Now you can see there's some voids there. Uh, again, that can be fixed up with the Microsoft uh, model repair surface. You need a uh, Microsoft account for that to work.